I'm off working, but everyone else is too. How do I stay in sync? When you work on a feature, you create a feature branch. Here you can work away in isolation. You're finished, you commit with a good commit message, then go back to your main branch and wrap up with a local merge, then a push to share with your team. All good. That was suspiciously easy. This time you're on a branch, you again wrap up your work with a commit, switch to main and merge. All good, but while you were away, and that wraps up my feature, a colleague also merged something to main. Now when you push, Git is unhappy, does not spark joy. This example though is easy, the changes don't overlap, so you let the IDE do the cleanup. But what if the person edited the same line as you? If you do the same steps, now you have a merge conflict. Really does not spark joy. This leads to the work of resolving the conflict. You could have avoided this if you just knew about their commit before you did your change. If you thought maybe the ID can help me on that, well, right you are. Every 20 minutes, the IDE checks if there are remote commits to a locally tracked branch. If so, the branch pop-up will show a blue down arrow on the unsynced branch. A mouse over explains. Indeed, if you make a local commit in a local branch, then merge to a tracked branch such as main, but haven't yet pushed the commits, now when you open the branch pop-up, you see a green up arrow on that branch. A mouse over explains that the branch has incoming and outgoing commits. I wonder if this has a setting. Well, of course our IDEs have a knob for that in the Git settings. Here you can adjust the policy. You can learn a lot from our help pages. Let's see this topic in the IntelliJ Idea Help. There you go, an explanation of the green, blue, and up and down arrows on the branch. Merge conflicts do not spark joy. Thankfully, the ever so helpful IDE is right there letting you know there are changes you might want to get. Did that tip help? Do you want to know the big reveal in the sequel to this video? Click the subscribe thing to find out. And if you want to share your ideas on the sequel, follow JetBrains on Twitter. I'll announce the next video topic and ask for add-ons from the audience. Finally, don't forget to visit this tip in the guide where we help you learn your tools developer to developer. Thanks for watching.